Don't you want your farm to be more sustainable? Welcome to the exciting world of hydroponic gardening. In this video, we'll be discussing 8 tips for creating a sustainable hydroponic garden for long-term success. We make mistakes when we farm, and this causes us to spend more money on electricity, water, and energy. You may pay more if you don't use the proper methods. From this point onwards, you will not repeat such blunders in the future. How can you achieve that? We'll go through each of them in detail so you can have a more long-term sustainable farming. Number 1. Pay attention to choosing the right plants. When it comes to hydroponics, you want to be sure you're picking the right plants. Not all plants will grow well in a hydroponic system, so you'll need to do your research ahead of time. Some well-suited plants for hydroponics include lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, and herbs. When selecting plants for your garden, be sure to choose those native to your area. These plants will be better adapted to your local conditions and require less water and care. For example, if you live in a hot, dry climate, you'll want to choose plants that can tolerate those conditions. So, research and select the right plants for your hydroponic garden. Number 2. Reduce the energy consumption. One of the most important things to remember is that different gardens require different amounts of energy. So, optimizing your specific setup's energy consumption is crucial. One way to do this is using energy-efficient grow lights, like LED bulbs. Another great way to save energy is by using timers for your lights. This way, you can ensure that your lights are only on when needed. You can also use an energy monitor to keep track of your energy consumption. There are also a few other general tips that can help reduce the energy your garden uses. For example, Make sure that you have adequate space around grow lights to keep temperatures under control. You should also ensure that your growing area is well ventilated. This will help prevent heat loss and keep your grow room more energy efficient. Number 3. Optimize your water consumption. Overwatering is one of the biggest mistakes that people make when gardening. It can lead to problems like fungal growth or root rot and a waste of water. Hydroponic farming uses 10% of the water and 25% of the fertilizers slash nutrients that soil-based agriculture does. So be sure to check your plants regularly and only water them when needed. You can optimize water consumption by using a recirculating water system. This will save water and money in the long run. In the long run, a recirculating or closed-loop water system for hydroponics may help you save money by reducing waste. Just be sure to operate under the limits on the water pump and never over-pump. You can achieve this by adding a timer and irrigation controller. Number 4. Use organic nutrients and manage the nutrient level. One of the main benefits of hydroponic gardening is that you can control the nutrient levels in the water. This is important because poorly managed nutrient levels can lead to problems like eutrophication, which can harm your plants and the environment. To avoid this, it's important to monitor the nutrient levels in your water and adjust them as needed. You can use a nutrient management system to help with this. Another critical thing to remember is that you should use organic fertilizers. Synthetic fertilizers can be harmful to the environment and your plants. Choose organic options. These will add nutrients without causing any harm. This natural fertilizer will give your plants the nutrients they need to grow strong and healthy. Number 5. Manage Eutrophication. Nutrient runoff into waterways can lead to algal blooms and anoxia. Low oxygen levels in bottom waters harm aquatic organisms. One of the ways to manage eutrophication in a hydroponic garden is by using a control system. The control system will help monitor and adjust the nutrient levels in the water. It's important to ensure that the pH levels are monitored and adjusted. 
Another way to manage eutrophication in a hydroponic garden is by using an effluent filter. The effluent filter will help remove excess nutrients from the water before being discharged into the environment. An effluent filter is a type of filter that removes excess nutrients from the water before it's discharged into the environment. This is a great way to reduce the environmental impact of your hydroponic garden and keep your plants healthy. If you're experiencing problems with eutrophication in your hydroponic garden, you can also contact your local water authority for assistance. They may be able to provide you with information on managing eutrophication in your area. Number 6. Use Organic Pesticides and Herbicides Pesticides and herbicides can be a great way to keep your plants healthy and free of pests and weeds, but it's important to choose ones that are organic and safe for use around plants. Look for products specifically designed for hydroponic gardens and always follow the directions on the label to ensure safe and effective use. Number 7. Employ Beneficial Bacteria and Fungi Beneficial bacteria produce enzymes that break down nutrients into a form that plants can use more efficiently, keeping the pH balanced at an optimal level for plant growth. Fungi help break down parts of the plant, making nutrients more accessible and speeding up their growth cycle. Adding these microorganisms is easy to make your hydroponic farm more sustainable and efficient. So if you're looking to improve your yields and make your farm more sustainable, add some beneficial bacteria and fungi. Number 8. Optimize the land use. Vertical hydroponic farming is a great way to use small spaces, and it has been estimated that we could feed up to 80% of the world's population with only 20% of the land using this technology. If you're looking for a way to make your hydroponic farming more sustainable, consider using vertical gardening techniques. This will help reduce deforestation and the loss of habitat. Vertical hydroponic farming is a great way to use small spaces more efficiently, you can estimate that we could feed up to 80% of the world's population with only 20% of the land if everyone used this technology. That's it. By following these tips, you can create a sustainable hydroponic garden that will provide you with fresh, healthy produce for years to come. Thanks for watching. Read the description for more related posts. Do you find this video helpful? Please put a thumbs up and share it with your friends.